This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Well, good morning, everyone. As we draw closer and closer to Kentucky's opening its season on Saturday, fans are becoming more and more anxious to see Drew Barker lead that offense. Barker played in just five games last season. He threw for 364 yards with a touchdown and one interception. Coach Mark Stoops says Barker will be better this season, mainly because the players around him are better. And I mentioned it several times, but we've had guys that have played a lot of football here at wide receiver, at running back, and in that O-line. So it's hard to play quarterback when, when you're inexperienced all around you. So I think we're better uh, across the board, and I think – I uh, certainly have been very pl pleased with Drew in, in the progress he's made. The Southern Miss Golden Eagles are coming into the 2016 season with high expectations, but a lot of questions. The team does return. It's starting QB, running back, and center. But it is ushering in a new head coach, a new offensive coordinator, and a new defensive coordinator. And starting the season against an SEC team is not ideal for Coach Jay Hobson. A very multiple football team. I, th I think uh, well coached football team. You know, that's the best way to put it. So, uh, you know, yeah, we have a big challenge and uh, certainly a, a team that we know is, is going to test us. Anytime you open up the season with an SEC opponent, uh, you know, you have your hands full. And uh, Kentucky's a well coached football team with outstanding football players. And uh, we know we've got to be ready this week. Wildcats and Golden Eagles kick off the 2016 season on Saturday under the lights at Commonwealth Stadium, 7.30 p.m. start time on ESPNU. This is the third all-time meeting between the programs and first in 30 years. In the prior two meetings, Kentucky beat Southern Miss 71-7 in 1949 and 32-0 in 1986. For the second straight week, we have co-players of the week. We start in Baxter with Harlan County quarterback Jacob Branson. In a win over Clay County, Branson threw for 308 yards and four touchdowns, and he rushed for another score, and he had three tackles defensively. Also earning a player of the week honors is East Ridge running back Brody Johnson in a Pike County Bowl win over Phelps. Johnson carried the ball 24 times for 339 yards. 393 excuse me, yards and five touchdowns, and his 393 yards ranks in the top 30 all-time for a single game in Kentucky high school history. Coming up, Moorhead State kicks off their season this week. See what the players think of their offensive scheme coming into week one. <laughs> 